I want your help on this one, uh, Hassan, if you're able. Let's move away from politics. I don't even care or know anything about politics. Brittany Griner. Was this traveling or no tra- traveling? The, Brittany Griner. I forget how to spell her name. She's uh, famous for being captured, loaded up with drugs, B-R-I-T-T-N-E-Y, I guess. Loaded up with drugs in Russia, and they don't like drugs in Russia, Trump famously said. She cut her hair short. She doesn't look very ladylike anymore. She looks more like butch-ish. Sometimes that short hair looks good on a gal. Maybe mainly when they're older, I guess. DeSantis is the next Bush. Getting a lot of threes on DeSantis. Not ready. He's one, He's a one can do in Florida. <laughs> Four for don't know, don't care. Raymond says he's not. He's a can't do guy. There, I see some fives. I don't understand five. <laughs> I didn't give you a five. Press five if he. Oh, <laughs> wrinkle hands, bing bong says press five if he's. You can't say that. <laughs> okay, that's just jokes. Just jokes. Anyway, Brittany Griner. She has a little bit of a mannish look to her, but she's a woman. She's a, even mildly attractive in some ways. Gal. Tall. Sort of light-skinned black gal. Activist. She can't help it. She's, like, relatively young. Tattoos all over her arms. So she did this, she's playing basketball again. We brought her home from Russia. Not we, not me, but Sleepy Joe, very effective man, brought her home from Russia, left the real American hero to rot, continuing. <laughs> Have you ever heard her voice, quote unquote, hate? Yeah, she has a bit of a deep voice. You know, a lot of black gals and tall gals, they have deeper voices. And you know what I'd say? I, I kind of like a deep-voiced woman. <laughs> I like a high-pitched voice woman, too. Both can be annoying. Be back after my lobotomy. <laughs> okay, so let me play you this clip. I saw this from Jesse Kelly, DC, who's a guy on Twitter. I suppose you could call him my competitor. He says, with authority, and he quote tweets from uh, Sports Illustrated, far-left extremist journalists, which means anti-American, anti-white, uh, Sports Illustrated, SI Now, Brittany Griner with the all-star game dunk, with exclamation, part, exclamation mark emojis, two of them, via at WNBA. CNN, some of the CNN morning updates writers have called this gal a superstar. Let me get, without further ado, let me play you the, uh, can you play this on repeat? I don't know if you can play it on repeat. Uh, Because this is only an eight second clip and you may miss it. This is clip 23, uh, Brittany Griner, yeah, on loop, yeah. Making this dunk, she gets the ball passed to her, and then she... Seems to take two steps, a jump and two more steps, and then two more steps, and then she (laughs) jumps and sort of dunks it. (laughs) So, uh, but I think she does sneak in a little bounce at that, around that, in the midst of that. (laughs) So it's not a six-step traveling, and I don't know, maybe women can take three steps in WNBA. Uh... I need Hassan's careful eye because he knows basketball. Uh, here it is. You will see this weekend the that. There it is! <laughs> BG is back! BG, Brittany Griner. See, that short hair does not... You see this weekend the that. There it is! This is a lot of BG steps. BG <laughs> is back! But if you listen closely, you'll hear a You will see this weekend the that. Bounce. There it is! See, she bounced. I think BG she bounced it. Is back. They have like a white ball and it's hard to you will hard see to make out. Than that. Almost there it is. <laughs> what would you say, Hassan? I think it's clean. It's clean. Okay. We'll let you guys see it a couple more BG times. Is back. 
Look at that hair. It's not working for me. You will see this weekend. The but then again, I'm not married to her. There it is. It's not bad. Is back. Did it look dirty to you at first? Did it look travel? <laughs> It's a little close, but I think it, no, I think it's good. Okay, you can you can stop it now. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for bearing with me through that. She, whatever she is, she ain't cute. Says Kilo Alpha Tango. Uh, yeah, because I've seen tricks by people who say you can do these different things, and they walk you through it. I've seen on the social media, and you can you can well help me out here, where you can take a a step, land with both feet. Take another step, take another step, and then you can pivot. You can pivot all the way in a circle, and it's not considered a step, right? <laughs> That's true. There's a thing called a hop step um, that you can do. And, yeah. Um, but once you do the hop step, you can't take steps Oh. in addition to that. Can you pivot? You can land and, yeah, pivot. Okay. But, <laughs> um, yeah, but... Th- you know, and it's funny because even LeBron James, you know, I think he travels all the time, and they don't call it for the sake of entertainment. Yeah, because it's flashy. That's it, part of what I like appreciate about the blacks bringing to basketball. Yeah. Whites had it straightforward. It was awesome, professional, clean. Uh, Pistol Pete, man. Yeah, John Havlicek. Who is that? Another white. Okay, nice. I should have known. <laughs> Boston Celtic. Right on. Is it Celtic or Celtic? That's a good... I mean... <laughs> I've only ever heard it as Celtic, but... It depends if you're a warlock or not. Right. <laughs> so, uh... Oh, I interrupted you. No, yeah, so... Yeah, there's... Oh, that, yeah, the Blacks brought, brought some style and flash yeah, and entertainment. Jungle the, Ball. The NBA kind of just allows for... A lot of uh, traveling, so I think she, yeah, I think she looked good. Nice. <laughs> it's kind of hard with the women's basketball because they don't have a, they have this white and multicolored basketball, and it's almost the same color as the court, so you can't tell that she actually did bounce a ball unless you're looking closely. Yeah, sure. Had she not bounced, that would have been traveling, obviously, right? Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> but you are allowed to take steps without dribbling when you're in the paint like that. If, oh. you, if you catch it on a pass like that. Okay. Because you, you don't necessarily have control of the ball yet, maybe, and it's like well, gray no, area. If you're going up for a shot, uh-huh. you can gather and just go. Oh, wow. But it has to be all in one motion. Yeah. It was uh, all one motion. She's a lanky gal. And she moves pretty smoothly for a tall gal. Yeah, and to answer Nick's question, I think the only other person is Lisa Leslie to uh, ever dunk, but I could be wrong. Okay. Wikipedia says seven women in the WNBA can, can dunk. Oh, well, there you go. I'm wrong. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> right on, man. You're a baller. You versus Brittany Griner, who would win one-on-one? I mean, it'd probably be hard to guard her if she just wanted to just play the low game and just dunk. It'd be kind of hard to maybe defend her. But I think if I had the ball first and it was make it, take it. Yeah. Okay, winner's take out. That's what you mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I think. I don't mean to embarrass you. Put you on the spot. No, I think I her. could. I think I. I think I'd win if I if it was make it take it, and I got the ball first. She's six foot nine, you know. It's true. <laughs> it's true. But honestly, she, she I has think a, almost a foot on Hague. But I'm so bizarre in my mind that I think I could get buckets on a few. I'm not saying like <laughs> star NBA players, but right. like guys who are on the bench. Yeah. Like the tenth, eleventh guy. I mean, I could be delusional, but I I really think I could get buckets on them. <laughs> Nice, man. One of my buddies would daydream when he was out jogging about playing one-on-one against uh, Kobe when he was alive. Oh, nice. <laughs> Asian. Yeah, I grew, Five foot eight, five foot nine. I grew up in, um, there was this guy named Matt Geiger, and he played with Allen Iverson on the 76ers. He was 7'2". Whoa. Big white guy. Uh-huh. 
and uh, me and his nephew were really close friends. And I see a buckets on him, and I mean, I think he was trying. Maybe he, he wasn't because we were children, but right. <laughs> I, in my mind, it really built my ego up because I, I thought I was getting buckets on him. That's funny, man. So I know I used to do fighting buddies with my older cousins. We called it fighting buddies, and I would wrestle them, and they would let me win. <laughs> and then one time he didn't let me win, but I still thought I was good. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were all tall. They'd be on their knees. I was like a little four-year-old or, <laughs> or less, wrestling them to the ground. Fighting buddies, man. Yeah, that's why I don't do that with children. When I play with kids you now or hard, children, huh? I go hard. Because <laughs> I don't want to give them a, f- you know. You like Prefontaine, Steve Prefontaine. I don't know if you've heard of him. But he said, you're not ready for me yet, buddy. And he pulled on the, at least in one of the movies, he pulled on the shirt of a boy who tried to outrun him <laughs> when he was doing like a like, nice demonstration training with the, with the kids. <laughs> you're not ready for me yet, buddy. I like that. You yeah. Because in that way... <laughs> you know they're they're getting. The, I think his girlfriend yelled at him. <laughs> <laughs> but that Lemon. way they know what they're dealing with. Yeah, true. Yeah, you don't go easy on them. Yep. Nice. Well, thank you, uh, thank you, Hassan. Yes, sir. I I knew not to judge. As soon as I saw it, I'm like. So I went right to the replies, and a whole bunch of people were like, oh, glad she's comfortable traveling again. Does she have her vape pen with her <laughs> traveling? Because she had trace amounts of pot vape juice when she went to Russia. and Loaded up. Loaded up with drugs. <laughs> and Russia does not like drugs. They're not like America. Trump wants to get tough and give them the death penalty or, or pardon them <laughs> if they're... Uh, uh, sympathetic black female figures whom uh, Kim Kardashian feels sorry for. Anyway, six foot nine is tall. Um, indeed it is. So we wish, we wish her well. I wish she had longer hair, but she had, when she had that longer hair, she had the braids. I'm not a fan of that. She says that the national anthem, it's not a hymn. <laughs> she says that the national anthem Hit different now that she's back in America after being spending all those months in Russia. Uh, the females, the the females, the blacks were eager to bring her "quote unquote" home, and so she got preference over the uh, that one guy who's still over there. What a mess! So um, anyway, that's the story on that. <laughs> 